Let's take a look at Curve Appeal by Raquel Welch in the shade Shady Cappuccino RL12 22SS. Shady Cappuccino has a dark brown root. It's on a light golden brown base. It is evenly blended with cool platinum blonde highlights, which makes this shade overall neutral that will complement a lot of skin tones. But as always, you have a lot of other options to choose from in shades at Wix.com. Now, let's talk about the style. Curve appeal. Now, face forward, you think that this is a short style, but actually it's not. It's a mid-length to long style with lots of cascading layers. So let's take a 360 look at Curve Appeal. It's a mid-length to long style that has lots of cascading layers that also has a side-swept fringe that frames the face. And you see that it also has this fringe on the other side. And then these layers curve in and they curve out, which made me think maybe that's why they named it Curve Appeal is because of the curve of the style. I don't know, but that was my thoughts. I am five foot six. I have a seven inch face, four and a half inch neck, and a 22 and a half inch circumference. And you can see that Curve Appeal falls right below my shoulders. So you want to take your measurements and compare them to mine, and that'll give you an idea of how Curve Appeal will look on you. Now this has lots of layers and volume. It's created by the layers, and it's also created by the permatease. There is some permatease on the sides, as well as the crown area, and you can use that to zhush it up and give yourself lots of volume, or you can tame it down. It does have density to this wig, and what I mean by that is that's just the amount of fibers that's on this cap. Raquel Welch is known for giving us lots of volume on some styles, and Curve Appeal is no exception. It does have lots of volume, so if that isn't one of your preferences, then maybe Curve Appeal isn't the wig for you, but if you like lots of volume and big voluminous styles, then Curve Appeal is a great option. Now this is on Raquel Welch's True to Life Heat Friendly Fibers, meaning that you can restyle Curve Appeal. You can add curls. You can change the directions of the curl. You can straighten it. You want to use your heating tools on the recommended heat settings of 275 to 300. And keep in mind, anytime that you change the heat, anytime that you change the curl pattern on your style, it's going to retain that memory. It won't be like it was when you first got it out of the box. It'll remember how you styled it last. Now, speaking of heat, you do want to use heat on your heat friendly fibers because it needs heat in order to keep the integrity of those fibers. So what you will do is at the ends or at the nape, wherever the wig needs treatment, is to spray it down with some water or you can use a heat friendly protectant, heat protectant on your wig and then use your heating tool and slowly glide it down those fibers. You will hear a sizzle. That can be terribly frightening, especially for the first time, but that's okay. That's what you want to hear. That means it's essentially doing what it's supposed to do and melting those fibers back together and creating that smoothness and that uh, appearance that you have when you first got it out of the box. Let's take a look at the sheer indulgence temple to temple lace front on Curve Appeal. As always with Raquel Welch wigs, the lace fronts are impeccable very comfortable. They bring that lightest highlight into the lace front and that just adds to the realism and the natural look of that hairline. Now I want to speak briefly to you about tangles. With a long wig such as Curve Appeal, you are going to experience tangles. That's just the nature of the wig. What you need to have is a wide tooth comb. I have these everywhere in my purse, in my desk, in my car, 
everywhere I go, there's always a wide tooth comb because I know that I'm going to experience tangling at some point while I'm wearing the wig. And with your natural hair, you would just brush through it. With a wig, you don't want to do that. What you want to do is start at the bottom in small sections and gently comb out those tangles, moving your way up the wig until you reach crown area. Most of your tangling, you're going to experience at the ends and at the nape of the wig. But a wide tooth comb is your best tool to target those tangles throughout the day. Curve Appeal has a temple to temple, sheer indulgence lace front, and a left side mono. You'll notice there's a wider area here at the bottom of that mono. It gives you a little bit of wiggle room to slightly move that part off center. You have some permatease around the mono area. And this is Raquel Welch's memory two cap and it has that open wefting that allows for coolness and it also will conform to your head after about an hour and then you have the velvet covered ear tabs that have the fibers sewn into the ear tabs as well as a metal stay and then you have an extended nape that is covered with velvet as well as velcro strap adjusters that you can adjust up to one half inch to meet your circumference. This is an average size cap, but it would fit a petite. You can move those adjusters in, or you can move them out to adjust to a larger size circumference. And once you put those Velcro straps where you want them, they don't move. And that's what I love about a Velcro strap adjusters is with those Velcro strap adjusters and this cap, it makes it ultra comfortable. So there you have it. This is Raquel Welch Curve Appeal in the shade Shaded Cappuccino RL1222 SS. Thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you again soon. Bye.